So, I'm cleaning my apartment. Uh, it's been a long time. And by long, I mean months and months. I have lived in this apartment as of today for one year. Um, yeah, I'm a filthy person. I didn't realize how filthy I was until I cleaned shit. And I'm on day two. There's still stuff to do. Still laundry to handle. It's been crazy, but, um, I wanted to share with you. See, that's what I need. It's a must walk pile. This is my broom handle. And a while ago, one of my students taught me a phrase, doji. Doji is basically when you do something really embarrassingly stupid, sometimes in the view of others. For example, the example she gave was standing in front of a push door as if it were an electric door and waiting for it to open and then realizing it won't. Or getting in an elevator and not pushing any of the buttons. So you just sit there and wonder why the elevator isn't going. Um, my moment of doji today I'd like to reenact for you. I was just sweeping, 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 like you do, sweeping, sweeping, and suddenly I went, wham! <laughs> and just whoosh, right up, like, hit myself dead on in the eye with the handle while I was sleeping. Like, oh, sweeping, sweeping, pow! Like that. It was really painful, and I was really glad no one was here to see it, and then I was like, no, that was hilarious. I wish someone had been here to see it. So I probably told Facebook that it happened, but, um, oh my god, I just wanna, like, I don't look over there, that's, actually, most of that is cables for that. What? Wrong card. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, there's floor, oh my god. Also, I bought a video camera. Again, because I can't find the one that I had in Korea, and it was shit anyway. So I bought a nicer one, um, which I needed to do anyway, because uh, I have people coming for for December break, and we're going to party, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but hopefully, you can look forward to videos that are not recorded on a webcam. I even got this webcam because it's a pretty nice one. Like, it claimed to be nice. It displayed nicely. But, you know, it's not... It's not a video camera. So, um... But my video camera didn't come with a tripod. Which, last time I got one with the tripod. So, uh... I may have to get a tripod still. Or, like, hold the camera like this the whole time. <laughs> uh, everybody knows because there's so much... I've kicked up so much dust cleaning that I'm like, oh. I had to use my inhaler yesterday after doing some serious cleaning. So, um, mm, yep, that's, uh, that's it. That's everything so far. I've cleaned up pretty well. And the real irony of all this cleaning is that I'm doing all this cleaning so that I can hire an actual cleaning person to come for one time and clean my shit properly. Yeah, my apartment was such a disaster, I was afraid to hire a cleaning person because I was too ashamed to look them in the eyes. <laughs> so I'm still going to be, like, shamed, probably. Hopefully not, but they're still going to be like, mm, this is a disaster. I have no idea. I've also discovered things like, there are spots on my floor now. The problem with doing physical art is that it gets everywhere. Like, I found watercolor pencils that I thought were gone. But then, um, uh, there's, like, charcoal pencil ground into my floor a little bit. Which is fine. It's, it's laminate flooring, so I can wipe it out with a paper towel. But I was like, when did I even step on my charcoal pencils? Like, all my pastels are in a box. But there's pastel dust everywhere. So I don't even, I don't know. Um, I also got out my two dollies, um, and I never put the elastic in on Cho's pants, so they fall down. And flesh is junk everywhere.
but my sewing machine is also busted. So I actually need to take care of that for Halloween because I have a plan for my Halloween costume. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm going to be a shark. I'm going to make a shark hoodie. And then I'm going to use wire to get to attach fins on my back that stick out. They don't flop around. They stick out. But I'm going to be a happy shark. So the shark is going to have like little heart pupils. Because last year I was a skeleton, but I didn't want the kids to be freaked out. So I also put a little heart in the rib cage that I made on the hoodie. Um, I don't. I put photos on Facebook, but I don't think I showed anybody. Um, yeah, I don't think I showed anybody. I made leggings and a hoodie that had, were black with skeleton bones on them. Um, they, it went over really well. People thought it was really cute. And it was comfortable. Bonus. So this year I'm going to be a shark. A cute shark. A happy shark. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was my neck. Popping in four places. And Nola's like, why are you sitting without me in your lap? This is a thing that can't be. Because I'm trying to decide what to do for dinner. On the one hand, I don't want to get up again. Like, I've been doing this. I didn't, I didn't invite you up here. I even had my arms in my lap in the hopes that you wouldn't be able to get up here. And that's just my button the desk so that everything is moving. Nola. Nola. Hey, cut it out. You're turning my chair now. You're making me not as centered. Stop it! Yeah. Uh, huh. So I'm like, do I want to do a thing? Do I want to get up or do I want to just order pizza? And then I'm like, I'm poor. But then in my head I'm like, but I'm tired. So I'm fighting with two sides of myself. My my really cute not give a fuck anymore tired side and my my broke ass poor woman side at least i paid my taxes yeah okay cat seriously fuck off i love you but no no but seriously get down woman hey 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 she's gonna knock my phone right off You're so fluffy and squishy. I just want to hug you forever. <laughs> now she's like, oh my god, let me go. <laughs> That's it. I'm a cleaning god, but I also want to die. Oh my god! There was inexplicably... Oh, <laughs> um, sorry. There was a, there was an ant on the cable that I had to squish. Very small ant. And it kind of caused a chain reaction of disaster. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's still work to be done. I've never dusted in my life. I know you're all looking at me like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know I'm a terrible person. I bought a vacuum cleaner that's got a, that counts for something, right? I'm gonna use it, but I just have to dust everything in. Yeah. I just don't want Erin to die. She's allergic to cats. I don't want her to die when she comes. Oh my God. I don't want her to die. So I'm gonna have to vacuum like every day. I'm gonna vacuum every day to keep the dander down. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to buy some vacuum bags because I don't know how many my vacuum comes with. And I don't actually know how to buy vacuum bags that aren't like, I've always had upright vacuums. And this is a trail behind you little thing. Um, Cause it was cheap. It was 4,000. Everything else was 9,000 and up. And 
like even a dust devil upright was like 19,000 yen. Like I'm not spending $200 just so that I don't have to bend down as much, especially when the receptacle's smaller. But I don't know how to buy vacuum bags, so somebody's going to have to help me with that. I think I'm going to ask at work. Uh, how do I buy vacuum bags? So. I'm filthy. I'm going to shower, and I am going to order some vacuum. I also, I drank a Coke today. Uh, I drank one of the little cans. First Coke I've had in two weeks, because I kind of quit. But I was like, I had, a, I woke up with a bit of a migraine, so I was like, oh, I need to get through today. Uh, I work tomorrow, but then I have Tuesday off. I love it when I don't know that we have holidays until right before we have the holidays. So I'm like, oh, what? Wait, we don't have to come to work that day? Sweet! To plan for it and shit. So all my plans have to, I have to fuck with the dates. So I'm like, wait, no, I wasn't ready for that. Usually I like Tuesdays, except for one class, which is a complete nightmare. Um, I started off talking about cleaning, and now I've just completely derailed. Uh, yeah, I cleaned. Can you tell right now that my bookshelf is jacked? I didn't count holes when I was putting it together, so <laughs> the shelves don't align properly. You can't really tell looking at it, and it is rock solid. Well, maybe you can't tell looking at it, although you can. But it's like, I, um, I stripped a lot of the screws putting it in, so I can't really fix it. Oops. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, like, dust and shit. And then I'm gonna order a fucking pizza. And eat most of it. Also, I finally did a thing. I have this terrible habit where if I'm doing something at my desk, the computer, like eating something with a wrapper, I just drop the wrapper next to me on the floor. I don't know why I do that, because every time I'm like, where's this pile of trash come from? I... Yeah, please, please, take your time getting out. I got a little garbage can to put under my desk to hopefully curb this horrible habit that I have of just dropping shit. I, I swear to God, I was severely OCD as a child. I was. Like, cleanliness was a thing. And then we broke it. And now I'm like, I can't be bothered most of the time. I'm so tired. It's, only, it's 6.16. I... Did I do anything today? I got up, I went to the Hyakuen store to get some storagey boxy things and garbage bags. I paid my taxi. And then I came back and I cleaned. So I've been cleaning from about 2 p.m. till now. So a good four and a half ish hours. And most of yesterday. And I'm still not done. Where did all this shit come from? Where did all this shit come from? I don't even fucking know. I threw out a lot of shit. I also threw out a lot of clothes. Um, clothes that were in bad shape. I don't know why I still had them. Um, and stuff that didn't fit properly anymore. Like I've Part of my let's be okay with yourself and your body now is getting rid of stuff that I know is never going to fit again. Um, I still have a couple dresses that I'm hanging on to even though I know like in my heart of hearts I know I'm never going to be a size 2 again. So like I have this great anthropology stripey dress that I love. It has a bone bodice. It's beautiful. And it's a size 2. And I couldn't fit a size 6 skirt two weeks ago, so I don't think I'm ever going to fit that dress again. So, yeah, I'm going to probably launder it and then sell it. Which makes me sad because I love that dress. <laughs> but 
I don't want them enough to let it sit there and taunt me. Uh, and I have dresses that I have bought since then, which are, you know, not the same, not as cute, but that fit me. So I'm going to be okay with wearing dresses that are cute and fit me instead of looking at dresses that are cute and wishing I fit them. Trying to change it. Trying to change a little bit at a time. Maybe if, if I can't look in the mirror and be happy with myself, if I can't look at a picture and be happy with myself, then at the very least, I'm going to wear clothes and buy clothes that look cute on me as I am now. If I lose weight, grand, I'll buy more pants. If I don't, then I will have a wardrobe of clothes that fit me and that I like. Uh, I've had some visual picture problems with my arms so I'm going to work on that um, get some little weights baby weights and just while I'm on the computer just do shit because you know like it's hard to see I have muscle like I have a quite decent amount of muscle I heft small children around on a regular basis like I'm not a pussy I'm sorry, that's a terrible word that just came out of my mouth. I'm very sorry. I meant to say, I'm not a weakling. Not, I don't know why I said that. Um, that's not a word I, I think I've ever said. Where did I get that? Where did that, I don't even know. Maybe this motion makes that word come out. I don't know. But like in pictures, when my arm is relaxed, I've noticed that like it does this. Which, you know, I don't have, I don't have chubby arms. I don't know what my problem is, but that combined with my, like, horrendous scoliosis posturing with my arms pressed flat in such a way that makes them look much bigger than they are. So it's like, okay, well, let's pull some massive muscles in there. I'm not going to do massive muscles, but, you know. I'm making effort to make my life a nicer place to be, to make my head a nicer place to be, to make my body a nicer place to be, in the hopes that eventually I will be okay. <laughs> like I'm ever gonna be okay. Woo, we do, we're talking about me, I'm but I'm crazy but you know what I'm I'm okay with it crazy I'm actually okay with being not okay with being heavy yet but I'm okay with being crazy and if I turn it's starting to seem like I'm crazy about being heavy which makes it a little bit better to or a little bit easier to talk like I didn't like being fat um, but but now I know rationally I'm still not fat I'm not I'm not thin I'm not fat though in rationally but I feel fat and I feel like I look fat but other people keep telling me that I don't look the way that I think I do. So something is wrong here. Something is going on. And I know that one of the big like hallmarks of dysmorphia is that you like almost visually see a warped version of what's in front of you. So it's possible that what I see in a mirror and what I see in a photograph is no longer an accurate representation of actual visual effect. Like I, I it's, and if, if that's the case, I can somewhat make peace with that. I, I'm so used to being crazy that when crazy is an explanation for something that's bothering me, 
I'm actually easier to, it's easier for me to accept that. I'm okay with that. So, like, I'm less okay with actually being fat, which is, again, that's a terrible thing. Like, there's nothing wrong with being fat. It has no measure of health. It has very little to do with beauty, if anything at all. Like, why, why am I so afraid of it? It doesn't bother me and other people. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But in me, it bugs the shit out of me. But if that's in, if that's me being crazy, all right, then you know I'm. My feelings make sense then. I don't know. Cleaning shit gives you a lot of time to think about shit. And also to think about how ugly your curtains are. I bought these because I didn't have curtains and Don Quixote had them on sale. But I've seen some cuter curtains in the Nissan catalog with matching carpets. And so I think I might work on making this place a wee bit cuter before I have guests over. I'm so fucking excited. We find out about Odyssey tickets on October 1st. Please, 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 baby Jesus, please, everyone I don't believe in. Please, every deity that I don't believe exists. Please, can I have tickets? Can I have certificates? <sighs> okay, 21 minutes, 22 minutes. I'm going to finish this video. I love you guys. Hopefully one of the videos you see in the future will be from a proper camera. Oh my god! And then you'll see me in lovely actual quality and my teeth won't look white anymore because one thing I've noticed about this webcam, it makes my teeth look white. My teeth are not white. My teeth are hideous. I have horrible, horrible teeth. Thank you, genetics. So, um, please don't judge me when you see how yellow my teeth actually are. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.